dear students today we will discuss um, this general form of straight line because we have discussed um, this uh, uh, few forms that is few uh, standard forms of straight line one is one point form two point for form slope point form intercept form and normal forms today we will discuss this general form of straight line what is general form of straight line you know that if we consider a function ax equals to b a f of x equals to a x plus b where a and b are the constants now when we draw the graph of this it is simply a straight line here f of x is the point in codomain which implies that we simply write y equals to a x plus b or when we this uh, arrange these terms we simply get a x minus y minus b equals to zero or simply we write in place of a we write a x plus b y plus c equals to zero so this means that this simply represents you know the straight line because actually the function f of x equals to a x plus b represents the straight line in plane so this means that here this equation a x capital a x plus b plus c b y plus c equals to zero it is linear in x and y that is linear in x i x and y means degrees of x as well as y or one in plan so linear equation in two variables represents the straight line or simply we write, we say that a x plus b y plus c equals to zero is the general form of this straight line how this general form represents you know those standard forms which we already dis discussed now we will derive those uh, four forms one by one now given equation is ax plus uh, by plus c equals to zero now if b is not equals to zero because a b c are real constant so let's assume that b not equals to zero when b not equals to zero dividing dividing the, these equation throughout by b that is a b x plus y plus c by b equals to zero or y equals to minus a by b x minus c by b which is the form of which is uh, which is of the form of y equals to m x plus c because m is here minus a by b or c equals to minus c by b so this y equals to minus a upon b x minus c by b is you know the this uh, normal for this uh, slope intercept form of a straight line similarly if a is not equals to zero then we get equation of the form of x equals to minus b upon a y minus c upon a which is the slope intercept form on x axis with intercept given on x axis so in this way we derived this uh, slope intercept form from this general form now intercept form how we derive this intercept form which is intercept you know that intercept form is x upon a plus y upon b equals to one where a is intercept on x axis b is intercept on y axis now given equation is a x plus b y plus c equals to zero now shift this c to this rhs we get minus c dividing minus c throughout we get x upon minus c by a because a is here you know the coefficient of x so take the reciprocal of this a which is 1 upon a this means that x upon c by a minus c by a plus y upon minus b by a equals to 1 so when we compare this equation with x upon a plus y upon b equals to 1 here a equals to minus c by a with the, which is the intercept on x axis b equals to minus c upon a which is the intercept on y axis so this means that in this way this general form represent also represents you know the intercept form or we derive this intercept form from this general form now normal form you know that normal form of a equation of the straight line is x cos omega plus y sine omega equals to p where omega is the angle of inclination of this normal from origin to the point with length equals to p now is represented let's assume that this this normal form is represented by a x plus b y plus c equals to zero or a x plus b y equals to minus c now these two equations that is this x cos omega plus y sine omega equals to p and a x plus b y minus c 
they represent the same thing which implies that the quotient of x and y and constant should be proportional proportion means a by cos omega equals to b by sin omega equals to minus c by p which implies that cos omega by cross multiplication and by considering first and last fraction we get minus a p upon c while a sin omega is minus b p upon c now squaring these two terms and adding cos square omega plus sin square omega equals to a square plus b square into p square upon c square which implies that this cos square plus sin square is 1 which implies that p square is c square upon a square plus b square or p equals to plus minus c upon root of a square plus b square therefore this cos omega when we substitute in this uh, a, a p upon c we get plus minus a upon root of a square plus b square while as sin omega is plus minus b upon a square plus b square that's the normal form a x plus b y is x cos omega plus y sin omega where cos omega is plus minus a upon a square plus b square sin omega is plus minus b upon a square plus b square while p equals to plus minus c upon root of a square plus b square so this means in this way we derive this uh, normal form from the general form reduce the following equations in intercept form so this means slope intercept form is y equals to mx plus c now here we can write this equation as 3y equals to minus 6x minus y minus 5. Now dividing by 3, we get y equals to minus 6 by 3x minus 5 by 3. Or y equals to minus 2x minus 5, which is when we compare this with y equals to mx plus c, m equals to minus 2, c equals to minus 5. So this means that in this way, this general equation that is 6x plus 3y minus 5 rep represents you know the slope intercept form which is y equals to minus 2x minus 5. So, y equals to minus 2x minus 5 is the slope intercept form of 6x plus 3 by minus 5 equals to 0. Now, if y equals to 0, this is general form because here the coefficient of y, this x is 0, constant is 0 and coefficient of y is 1. So, when we compare this equation or we can write this equation as y equals to 0x plus 0, which is into slope intercept form because here m is 0 c is 0 which implies that y equals to 0 is the general form of y equals to 0 which is slope intercept form now reduce the following equations in intercept form and find the intercepts on x c's now x equals to minus root 3y plus 8 for intercept form we shift the constant term that is x minus root 3y equals to minus 8 and dividing by minus 8 it is x upon minus 8 minus root 3y upon minus 8 equals to 1 or x upon minus 8 plus y upon 8 root 3 which is uh, form of this uh, which is of the form of x upon a plus y upon b equals to 1 this means that here a is minus 8 b is 8 by root 3 here this x upon minus a plus y upon uh, 8 root 3 equals to 1 is the intercept form of x minus root 3y plus 8 equals to 0. Here minus 8 is the intercept on x axis and 8 by root 3 is the intercept on y axis. Now y equals to minus 2. y equals to minus 2 or y minus 2 equals to 0. We can write this general form as y minus 2 as 0x plus y equals to 2 or simply 0x upon 2 plus y by 2 equals to 1 or simply we can write 0x plus y by 2 equals to 1 when we compare this equation with this uh, x upon a plus y upon b equals to 1 we get a equals to 0 b equals to 2 so this means that here intercept on x axis is 0 intercept on y axis is, is 2 hence 0x plus y upon 2 equals to 1 is the intercept form of y minus 2 equals to 0. So, thank you.